play of the week goes to Rio Rancho, the top seed Easter Barrera, the pitch to Angelo Lujan, fancy footwork, and Angelo headed all the way in for the score for the 30-yard touchdown. He looks smooth doing it. Welcome back. The last time the Eunice Cardinals made it to the championship game was in 2011. The Cardinals hoping to punch their ticket for a shot at the Blue Trophy to finish out 2014. Now, senior linebacker Armando Rodriguez had had has had a stellar year with 117 tackles, 11.7 per game, and he will need that kind of effort to slow a Clayton Yellow Jackets team determined to make it back-to-back -back championships, this time from 2 to 3A. Eunice meet the Yellow Jackets early in the they met the Yellow Jackets earlier in the season and it didn't go well. The defending champions winning 57 to 6. Now, in fact, Cullen Justice's group is a perfect 10 and 0 with four shutouts on the season, including a, that 52 to nothing blowout of perennial power Santa Rosa also. Senior running back Coy Gary has been a beast, averaging 14 yards per carry. He has over 1,200 rush yards and 23 rushing touchdowns, 25 overall. He's averaging 123 yards per game. Now, quarterback Colby Bagwell has been good on both sides of the ball. How many quarterbacks also play linebacker? He has 10 tackles for loss this season. Yellow Jackets and Eunice Cardinals tomorrow in Clayton at 1 p.m. in the 3A semis. So the winner gets either Estancia or Lordsburg. Our Jared Chester is here with a preview on that matchup. Thanks, Fanny. Yep, there are two great matchups on Saturday in Class 3A, and one team is still fighting to get that elusive state title, an achievement that they haven't had in a very long time. The Estancia Bears have came into the 2014 state playoffs and turned some heads. They won big over Crown Point, 55 to nothing in their playoff opener, and they had the upset win last week over the heavy favorite number three seed, Laguna Acoma. The Bears haven't won a state championship since 1979, and this 9-3 team this year has a fighting chance. The Bears are averaging over 327 yards per game on the ground and is averaging around 37 points per game. We will see if Estancia can bring the upset magic again on Saturday as they take on the two-seed Lordsburg Mavericks who are coming off a 35-18 win over Tularosa. And the Bears did lose to Tularosa earlier in the year, 21-14, but as that win over Laguna Acoma last week showed, anything can happen in playoff football. And that game is tomorrow at 1 p.m. in Estancia. Van, back to you. Yeah, you're right. Their opponent, Lordsburg, they are not a slouch. In fact, the Mavericks, they only have one loss this year. They are 10 and one and most of their wins were lopsided victories this team also has youth at the skill positions quarterback johnny plowman sophomore with an arm over 2200 yards through the air he's averaging 220 yards per game and has thrown 33 touchdowns this season his favorite target has been tight end jacob escabel he too is a sophomore escabel had 833 receiving yards this year on 44 catches averaging 75.7 yards per game with 17 touchdowns we're out of time the screen is